All right, this video is effectively the one that we've been all waiting for. Um, and this video here is gonna be dedicated to seeing what all you can plug into the new iPhone 15 series and see what that new USB-C port is capable of. So theoretically, everything that I plug in in this particular video should carry across to the entire iPhone 15 lineup, ranging from the standard iPhone 15 and 15 Plus, as well as the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, which the Pro Max is the one I have here. The only difference is the transfer speeds will be slower on the regular 15 phones, whereas on the Pro phones, uh, the transfer speed is the full 10 gigabits a second uh, USB 3. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have basically a wide range of various things on my desk here that I'm going to just basically be plugging into the iPhone via that USB-C port and see if it works and what does not work. So <clears throat> there's a few things that are unique here. So you can plug in normal things. Uh, but there's also the ability to do reverse charging, uh, which is also a really nifty thing. So uh, we'll also get to that in just a second and demonstrate that. But so anyway, let's go ahead and get started with something fairly easy. Uh, and that would be to start off with this here. Uh, this is a standard SD card reader that has a USB-C port on the one end. So if I plug in the SD card into the card reader here and then go into the files app right here. So plugging in the SD card, let's see, we plug it in and it should show up just like any other device on say a Mac or on the iPad. And sure enough, you can see right there, it shows up and it's labeled untitled because this particular memory card is not named. But you can go into here and you can start browsing the files on that particular SD card. Super cool. No special adapters needed. So whereas we all know previously on iPhones that have the lightning connector or the lightning port rather, you would have to use this really specific adapter uh, that required a power source to be plugged into it. So now though with that USB-C port, it provides enough power to the external device uh, that'll just simply work. So again, there you go. You can go right in there, browse all the stuff in there. You can, you got some images and files that you can check out. <clears throat> and what's cool is you can do things both ways. So you can transfer or import rather from the memory card into the phone, or you can go do the reverse and export a file or something from the phone to the SD card. So. It's awesome and it goes both ways and it transfers at the really high speed uh, transfer speed, which is cool. One thing to note, however, <clears throat> is Apple still does not give you the option or the ability rather to eject the external device. So there's still for some reason no way to do that. Uh, so all you can really do is just simply unplug the external device to remove it. So you, there's no way of quote unquote properly ejecting it to make sure that it's uh, basically safe to remove it, but for whatever reason, even in iOS 17, you don't have that ability. Anyway, moving on to another device here. So um, I have a little USB-C to standard USB type A 3.0 adapter here. And effectively what this allows you to do is it opens up an even wider range of possibilities with this USB-C port on this particular phone because with this, you can take, say, a standard USB 3.0 or USB 2.0 flash drive, uh, plug it into this little adapter, which effectively turns it into USB-C. And if I go and plug that into the phone, it should show up again, just like a normal external uh, drive or disc. So you can see the little light on the drive or the flash drive is red and is blinking now which is really cool. And then right there, you can see it says no name. And there you go. You immediately can browse the files uh, on that flash drive. So again, really cool thing. Um, so removing that, uh, moving on to the next thing. 
uh, you can actually plug in a full-sized hard drive. So right here I have a basic portable external hard drive. Uh, this is not a, a, an SSD, this is a full-fledged two and a half inch hard drive that requires a, a decent amount of power uh, to effectively run it. Um, but again, plugging this into this little USB-C adapter, once again, turns it into effect effectively a USB-C port. If I go here and plug this in, uh, you can see right away, the hard drive actually uh, boots right up and the little LED shows up there. And it's gonna, there you go, it starts blinking and it's reading files. And right away, there it is. It's listed as Photography 4. If I go into there, you can immediately see, uh, you can now navigate everything on that hard drive. And this same process, or this will go for an external SSD as well. So if you have an external portable SSD, uh, you can also plug it straight into the phone and browse files on it. And again, you can transfer to and from the disk uh, so if you want to take a file from the disk to the phone, you can do that. If you want to take a file from the phone to the disk, you can also do that. So um, to give a quick actual demonstration of taking a file, say, from the phone, let's go to the Photos app, and let's see, I want to take, say, this photo, and I want to share, save to files, and let's go to Browse and find the drive. Let's go to Photography 4. And let's just save it to the top end of that drive. Save straight away. So now there should be a new photo that I just transferred on that drive. So if I, so if I go back right over here and scroll down, you can see straight away, there's that photo that I had just now transferred from the phone to the hard drive. And then you can also delete it if I don't want it. So you can just hold on it and click delete. And now it's deleted from the hard drive. Super, super cool. Um, but again, it's super scary uh, to remove a hard drive in this manner because you can see that that little LED on the hard drive is still blinking, which means some kind of data is being transmitted between the drive and the phone. So again, with there not being a dedicated eject button, it's a little bit sketchy uh, to unplug this thing. All right. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's unplug this drive. There we go. And it's disconnected. So moving on, um, let's move to something that is pretty unique and I didn't actually expect to work. And that is a pair of desktop USB powered speakers. So you can actually plug in a pair of desktop uh, USB powered speakers right here and they will actually function and the phone will just automatically default to that and output all of the phone's audio to those speakers, which is really cool. Um, again, it's not something that I expected to work, but it does. Uh, so again, this is a standard USB port or USB plug, putting it into that USB-C adapter. Let's get out to the home screen and plug the speakers in. And right away, so on the speakers, you can see that the power light is lit up and you can see they're on. And what's even more crazy is that these speakers have a, an inline or a built-in kind of a volume control on the front of it. And that actually functions as well. So you can see on the phone, the volume slider is going up and down as I press these buttons. So that is really cool. So that's something that is supported. Now, if I go to something that plays audio, and if we go ahead and try out, go into the YouTube app and go to my channel and just kind of play a video, you'll notice that the speakers will be what's playing the audio. All right, and there we go. So straight away, we can kind of, we can hear that the speakers are what's playing the audio right now. What's going on, everyone? There I'm we back go. Here with another video. And I can and change the volume on the other one. Video. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing and taking a you look can see at right there. the 2019-15-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, the so that is a really nifty is... thing. Um, something I it's just yeah, I didn't I didn't expect that to work. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and unplug that. So yes, you can t plug in external USB-powered desktop speakers, 
and that will indeed uh, function correctly. Um, another thing that actually works are USB-C hubs. So I have a basic USB-C hub right here that has USB 3.0 ports on it, uh, SD card, as well as HDMI on the what other end. And this functions also 100% perfectly. So for example, here, if I wanna plug in the hub, let's go ahead and put that in here. And I want to get, say, let's go back to the Files app. I wanna grab that flash drive that I was using just a little bit ago, plug it into the hub. And what you're gonna see is that, there you go, it lights up just like normal. And that flash drive is back to being browsable. Super cool. And you can unplug it, there you go. And you should also, so you can, again, let's plug that back in again. And you should be able to plug in since this hub supports multiple devices. So there again, there's the flash drive connected. I'm now going to plug in that SD card into this hub and straight away. So now we have both the flash drive and the SD card accessible within the files app. And to go a step further, I'm going to plug in those external uh, USB speakers now into this and I'm going to go and play audio from the YouTube app again. There you go. So I now have three devices connected to this iPhone. So right there, now that's playing in the background via the picture in picture. There you go. And I still have those two external disks or drives uh, connected. So that just goes to show that how, what possibilities are opened up via this USB-C port. It's really, really quite versatile. Um, you can even go a step further and plug in an HDMI monitor uh, through this same hub with having all of these devices connected and it'll output the display of your phone to the monitor while you're doing this uh, on through the hub. Super cool, really, really interesting and super useful thing. Um, so another thing which I'm going to actually make a separate video on is you can actually plug in a, a full desktop keyboard and mouse uh, via say a hub like this and actually control the phone with just that keyboard and mouse. So you can basically put a keyboard and mouse and an HDMI monitor into this uh, USB hub and a pair of desktop speakers, have all of that working uh, through just your phone. So you can basically plug all that in via this hub and it'll just work. It's really quite amazing. Let's move on and let's now get to the section of reverse charging. So I'm going to demonstrate two devices here uh, via a standard USB uh, lightning cable that is going to be plugged in again through that adapter. So let's go ahead and plug in the lightning cable here uh, through that adapter. And there we go. So there's the little plug right there. And in this case, to demonstrate the first reverse charging is my AirPods Pro. Uh, you can plug it in and you can see straight away, uh, the phone is now doing reverse charging via that USB-C port to charge the AirPods. Super, super cool. Um, obviously, this is not something that you're gonna wanna do all the time. Uh, because it's going to siphon the uh, power from your iPhone's battery and shorten your overall iPhone's battery for the day. So really, if you, you only really want to do it if you absolutely need to. <coughs> but anyway, moving on now here, I have an iPhone 13 Pro here, uh, which is the smaller version. It's not the Pro Max, but um, you can actually charge an entire other phone uh, via this phone. So if I plug in that cable here, you can see now the 13 Pro phone is now being charged from the 15 Pro phone, um, which is really kind of cool. Again, um, you're not going to really want to do this because this phone here is going to basically take the entire battery life of the 15 Pro phone. So in this particular instance, I'm not sure why you'd want to do it unless it was an absolute emergency or you're trying to 
top off or give a friend of yours or a family member or something a slight bit of extra battery life for their phone. Um, you could, I guess, do that. Um, but yeah, you can do that now and have reverse charging for effectively anything. You can plug in not only your uh, another iPhone or your AirPods, you can actually plug in other devices uh, through an adapter like this, or if the device supports native USB-C, um, you can charge third-party headphones that are not uh, made by Apple. You could charge an Android phone if you wanted, uh, if you needed to do that. And you could even power a laptop cooling pad or something, just things that require USB power. You theoretically could do that through this phone's uh, USB-C port. Again, it opens up quite a large variety of things that you can do. So anyway, <clears throat> that is effectively it for this video. Um, I know this video is somewhat long, but I kind of figured that because I wanted to kind of detail nearly everything that I was able to plug in and found that would work uh, with this new uh, iPhone with the USB-C port. One thing, however, that I found that does not work is you cannot plug in a USB printer. So you cannot print uh, files by plugging in a, an external printer through the USB port. Um, unfortunately, that does not work and you're still limited to using AirPrint, uh, which is printing over the wireless network. Yeah, so that's basically it uh, for this video. I uh, hope you guys thought this was pretty interesting and kind of gave you guys some insight on some of the various things that you can plug into the phone. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, hit the uh, subscribe button as well. That is also greatly appreciated. It really, really helps the channel uh, and it helps the channel grow. And yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.